that was a chair there then. Oh. Hi, my name's Johnny and today is another fantastic day because we've got another base to unbox. Now this base is a rare one for me because I've actually bought something brand new. I know, I'm normally a big lover of just going second hand and shopping on the used market for a great deal. I was fed up of looking for one of these second hand. <laughs> um, I really wanted this specific colour and model and so I thought I'd bite the bullet and get it new. I will say it is rocking about in there but I can tell it's double box so I'm not too concerned. So I said that I don't buy many new bases but there's actually a story with this as well. I actually bought two new bases in in one day I bought this and then some more bases got announced later that day which I quickly pre-ordered because it just looked incredible. Like this video and leave a comment down below speculating what it is that I've pre-ordered for the channel later this year. So excited let's get in let's get into this shall we? This room is just becoming a room full of bases and boxes and I have zero complaints about that. <laughs> Let's open this puppy up. My first ever Yamaha on the channel. Yes, yes, so much. Yes. Oh, the maple neck on that. Woo! Very nice. Man, that feels like really nice quality so this is the Yamaha BB434 like I said I've been looking for one of these in this specific color with the maple neck I've seen a few come up with the rosewood but I really wanted a P base style base with a maple neck nice and in tune it's good that they've loosened the strings actually because that's you know how you should ship things because then they're less likely to get bowing of the neck when the strings uh, become tighter in the cold and they uh, what's the opposite of expand opposite of expand um, they pull the neck and so if you loosen them they're, they're not going to do that um, so you should always do that when you're sending a base look at this thing this has got some really cool features back of the neck we've got this like five piece neck here with a six joint and they've got these weird angled screws that are meant to give it extra sustain and which is just a really cool feature also look at this string through body but not through the body down here through it at the end there i just think that's incredible really really cool i'm loving it i was a bit worried that the body would be a bit big and it is a heavy base um but it doesn't feel too it doesn't feel too big on me these tuners feel like vintage style ones they're just your classic paddles with uh, slightly longer um, slightly longer bits on the machine heads here making it feel like it's giving it more vintage look that's really cool I thought this was just gonna be a sticker but it's actually like a little badge on there that is a uh, that sticks out and let's not forget the truss rod adjustment here on the body instead of at the top of the neck I just think that's so much better, so much easier to get in there and to, and to look down there when, instead of looking down here, getting in there, not being able to do it much. When you've got a wider string spacing down here, it gives you more 
uh, room to be able to adjust things. So that's a really nice feature. I can't wait to plug this in and review this absolute bad boy. I bought it new because I'm intending on keeping this one around because I really like the way it's handled online, heard great things, and I just think it looks smashing. Um, speaking of smashing, smash that like button. Why not? Oh, I don't know why. That, just saying that just sounded horrible out of my mouth and I hated it. But yeah, you should like this video and hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for the full review and demo of this and many more in 2021. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.